well we've got a pretty rare day here today we're going to be in the low 60s with no rain and no wind um, so the bees are getting out and doing their thing i'm over here in the in the hazelnut orchard i've got uh, blocks to put on some of these to cover my vent holes um, i just want to do some inspections see what we've got for dead outs um, who could use a little more food and just check on them i haven't been in them since i dropped them off here um, a little over a month ago so it's time to get back to them if i find interesting stuff we'll get it on the video so some of these colonies are doing pretty well and some of them are dead which is what i expected there were a number of, of fairly weak colonies um so i've been doing quick inspections just to get some notes on them so i get my uh, app pulled up here got colony number 41 on it and so now i'll uh, pop it open and see what we can see if i can get the camera set here a little bit so i can get it dove down and we'll see what it's supposed to so with this system you open them in the back it's got a cleat on the front on the bottom one to keep it from tipping off so i can look in there and see one two three nah, three and a half four frames of bees in it i know all of them can use food almost all of them so now i'm coming in here get a hive inspection it's not a major hive inspection but I want some information so I can sit at home and figure out who's going south and who needs replaced. So I've got four frames. I'll put that in the description. I'll get the hive strength and I'll move it up to about 40. So when I look at this at home, my percentage wise, um, you know, four frames puts me in 40%. Talking about a 10 frame box. Now we got 18 on here. Um, and any of them that are full, which some are, run 100%. But I can look at it and say, okay, those are four, you know, I've got this many four-frame colonies. I've got this many five-frame colonies. Um, then start really pouring the feed to them now. Um, get them built up as much as I can. They're going to head south in about a month. Then it'll be warmer and they'll be being fed too. So they should be just finishing their complete brood break. Um, I'll probably try to get an oxalic acid treatment on them here soon and uh, then we'll see if we can start building them up and I don't need a, a full in-depth inspection here I, I don't need to look for brood I don't need to find a queen I, you know all, all I need to do is see how strong are they so then I can watch and see if they're growing or not and some of them are dead outs so once I've saved this thing I'll get back here on my labels it's got a spot here for labels and i have a dead out spot so i'll label one that's dead dead out and then i can also go through here and pull up just my labeled ones in dead out and see how many i need to replace to have this commercial yard you know full so what i'm attempting to do is keep it full so uh we'll see where we end up anyhow that's what i'm doing today Oh, it's warm enough. The girls are cleaning up a box of wet frames, which is kind of nice. Like to see them out here being busy and taking something back with them. So, uh, it was nice to be even just poking my head in the boxes today. I do have quite a few of the weaker ones that didn't make it. Uh, but it was neat having the... Uh, you know recording of what was going on that there were a lot of them that i had marked as needing brood and i hadn't gotten around to getting brood in them um and there were a few of those that had made it but a lot of them that hadn't so uh, you know i had noted that they were weak to start and then they didn't make it so now it's time to get the push on uh i'll get more fondant made and, and get more uh more feed on them and then we'll get them replaced out the dead outs with the colonies that i have here that are strong i get you know 
as many good strong ones as I can ready to go to California and ones that I know can get into the almonds and, and do their job there will probably be a few weak ones that go down too just because they'll do better down there but uh, I'll probably try to keep a few of the really really weak ones just in my greenhouse where I can watch them a little closer and keep food on them and see what they do so that was today's activities so now I need to get in the shop and clean it up and, ready to make some more food.